where it would naturally, and you may find yeah. linkages and connections that you never would otherwise. Yeah. And, and you may not, right? There may be times you do this and you say, gosh, um, okay, I spent half an hour. Gosh, I, did I just waste a half an hour? No, you're, you know, nothing you do is 100% in life, right? You're going to go in, you're going to get, you're going to some hits and some misses, but you got, you have to keep putting yourself out there because um, that, I, I'm a firm believer, you're much better off going to get to wherever you want to get to through that, you know, Shelly, talking about someone who knows me rather than, you know, the, some, you know, blind resume that an algorithm's looking at. Do you, I'm sorry, do you apply that same technique, whether it's, you know, going to an actual networking meeting or whatever? How do you, is it the same or what? Yeah, no, it's a, it's a great question, Shelly. I ultimately, I really try to, I try, I try to look at, situations where I can maximize the quality of the conversation, right? You know, going into um, Yankee Stadium and saying hi to a bunch of people will help me maximize the quantity, but it doesn't maximize the quality of the situation, right? So I try as much as possible to use those core, those circles and the core networks to build that, um, the situations where I can go and maximize the quality of the conversation, right? But if I'm at a networking event where um, I hopefully would know someone to help me tie those, connect those dots. But if I don't, I'm looking, you know, for that person who's, um, uh, you know, willing to make eye contact or I go to the, you know, I'm going to go grab a drink at the bar and there may be someone else that's, you know, there and looking up and you can open up a conversation. It's, it's, it's little, uh, nonverbal cues that I'm looking forward to go and try to have a conversation. But really, Shelly, I think, to me, what's been successful to me is having someone to always, um, you know, grease the skids to make make something happen. And I'm lucky enough that I've built, you know, some networks over time that I haven't had to go and do a um, a blind sort of conversation. You know, the uh, warm calls are much better than cold calls, as I would say. Yeah. Cool. So networking, th this takes a lot of work, which you talked about before. And you talk about going to all these different venues and events and looking to maximize those events, but that can be tiring. So I'm just wondering, how do you keep that momentum going? What can we tell our listeners are some of the tips and tricks of, of keeping it going? Yeah, it can be very hard. It can be very, while, while going on a journey to go try to find something new is very exciting. You know, I came out of this very excited initially. There have been lots of ups and downs, right? But what I what I try to do is in my, um, you know, I try to keep a, pl a plan of what I want to get done for a week, right? A certain week. Or... And is that a written plan or what? For me, um, you know, some people do well written. Uh, I'm a little bit of, uh, a little bit on paper, a little bit on my iPhone, a little bit in, in my head, right? That's how I operate. And, but... I want to go and, you know, I, I usually try to take a day a week where I keep wide open. I go and do the things I want to do and just my personal life. But the other days I'm spending, you know, a minimum of two to three hours trying to talk to some new people or talk to people I haven't talked to in a little while. And usually those names come up because I've talked to someone else the week before. So they all kind of I don't know the domino effect, I don't know what the right word is, but they build on each other. It's almost like a snowball, right? Where they keep building on, hey, I've talked to this person. They've ta helped me introduce these people. Let me try to get a hold of those people. And I noticed at the end of the week, I've always got people that, I've got a list of new people that I have got to reach out to. So it could be coffee. It could be, hey, I'm going to go down into the city today. Let me think of the people I want to talk to. Um, it could be phone calls. It could be lunches. But I'm, I'm trying to plan on building some of those new contacts every week. And in my head, trying to say there's a minimum number of touches I like to have by the end of the week. Right. So that's good. So you, you've, you formulated a mental plan where some folks, like me, will have to write it down. Absolutely. You're a little older. You can't remember. You've got to look at your notes. That's right. to figure out what you're doing. She's the old fogey. Oh, you got to be authentic, am, right? You got to be yeah. authentic to whatever works for you. Absolutely. But. But you can't, if, you're, if your plan in there is just to go be like, hey, I'm going to, you know, it, it, it's just a shotgun approach to stuff. It's, it's not going to work because you, you've got to, 
you know, you got to build some sustainability into it. I like the way you talked about having goals, like at the end of the week, make so many, you know, connections or touches. And I think that's good to have in your mind that each week saying here is what I'm trying to achieve, at least have some goal in mind as you're going through. Because I do think it's difficult if you don't have a goal. It's like anything else in life, right? Like, you, uh, hey, I want to lose weight. And uh, I won't say I've planned that very well because you know, I haven't lost much weight. <laughs> Me right? either. <laughs> right? It's, it's so hard. hard. It sucks. It's all that wine. <laughs> it is. <laughs> wine and cheese yeah, and that's, lunches. That's, 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 but that's the thing. Like, you know, we go in and say, I'm going to build this. But the plan can be varied. It's the networks. It's the recruiters. It's old colleagues. It's, um, you know, going to search and spend some time on uh, job boards to what I use those for is to help understand how I'm going to improve my resume, right? And, and how I'm going to improve my brand. But those are all things I'm looking at as touches in networking. And, um, uh, you know, what is my, 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 my wife says one small step every day. Like that's what she's been working on is one small step every day towards that goal. And that kind of helps, you know, get you one step closer to that Baby goal. steps are great. Baby steps lead to big steps. I agree. Yeah. No, it's been, um, like I said, it, I think it's, it's, it's those types of things that I feel if I was, you know, if the world is a big, you know, a lot of farmland, I felt like I've gone and seeded and fertilized so much of that now that, you know, I'm seeing, I'm seeing the sprouts, some things, some things sprout very, very nicely right now. It's really cool. So, Excellent. Again, I say all this in, this is something I actually enjoy getting to know people and doing that. It's not easy for everyone. You've got to be, it's got to be authentic to your style. Mm -hmm. At the same time, if it's something you're just absolutely bad at, you've got to push yourself. So a little bit outside your comfort zone. Maybe you don't have 20 contacts a week or whatever that is. You do, you do a little bit fewer and you do, you know, do some things in different ways. But I am a firm believer in building networks and are how you get things done. And it's no different, like I said, in the company, or outside a company. So we had talked about that even if you're an introvert, that you really have to go out there and network, even though you're not comfortable with it. So networking's not just for extroverts. You have to, even if you're an introvert, you have to get yourself out there. Sure. Yeah. I mean, I think it's, you know, a situation where even though extroverts are very comfortable being out there, introverts, you have a core of people you still trust, right? You can't be like, you know, Shelly over here sitting in the corner just drinking wine. You've really got to get yourself out there and meet people who trust you and want to build, you know, that have a vested interest in you. So I would say you've really got to, you know, focus on those people to help you build your circles. Okay. Makes sense. Excellent. Mm -hmm. So thanks so much, Prem. We really appreciate all your time, you know, and the, just the rich discussion that we just had. It was very interesting and we appreciate it. I think our listeners are going to get so much value out of all the pearls of wisdom that you've, you've given us both. No, thank you guys so much for uh, having me here. I really appreciate the chance to do this. And we hope to have you back throughout the series. Anytime. I, uh, this was a blast. Thanks, guys. We will continue our series on networking by talking about LinkedIn and its vital role in networking. That's right. So, as always, you can submit your stories, feedback, and suggestions for us by going on to our website, www.over50andfired.com, and click on Contact Us, or you can post to our blog. You can also email us directly to offnowwhat at gmail.com. And remember, all of our wine recommendations from all of our episodes are now on our website. So drink up, right, Shelley? Drink up. Thanks, Thanks for listening. Bye. Thank you.